Well, here we are, first week of September 2022. And they're well on their way with the new school in Roda. Using, of course, a lot of local companies as well as well-known companies within Sweden. They're hoping that in 2023, this new school will be open. And they really are getting on really well. Of course, it's a beautiful day here in Hogfors commune. The flowers are out in the churchyard and it's plus 15. Here, Swedish timber is being delivered and the site is moving on. A new roof has been placed on this building and everything on this site seems to be well positioned for health and safety and everything else you can imagine. I have been issued instructions and my hard hat and fez jacket and given clear instructions what I can and cannot do on site. An introduction. This is going to be a fantastic educational facility. Rhoda School has been here for generations upon generations, but having the new school and the children being educated in a modern and up-to-date facility is crucial. It's crucial for their education but it's also crucial because in an environment that you feel safe, in an environment that you feel happy with, you learn, as we all know, a lot better. The new children's play area is now being installed and finished. And once again, I've got to say, it's fantastic. Up to date facilities for one to play and socialize with, of course, your peers. Disabled facilities are also crucial to a good environment and a good school. Outside table tennis, a sports hall, literally everything that is required here to maximize the education for those that will be the new generation but take over the jobs from the old and of course we need a possible new prime minister a new heads of industry but may end up being educated in Rhoda and go on to enhance Sweden as a country Let me take you round the other side of the school and show you a little bit more of what's going on. We're on the office side now of this complex. And this is also where the recycling takes place. Plastics, metals and timbers. And I'm gonna take you for a quick look inside but of course you've got to understand that 
This school is only partly finished. And there we are. Timber after timber after timber. Good open spaces for the classrooms and places, of course, to be together as students. The new windows have arrived here. And there's the old entrance to what is actually a new building built some years ago. Beautiful, beautiful timber. And of course, all from Sweden. Then we go out to the restoration of the newly built part of the school in which was uh, extended some years ago. This new extension here is having little alterations to make sure that it abides the new regulations whether it be fire, health and safety, and also disabled. Disabled is, as I say, crucial to a democratic and fair society. Now at the end here, is the old building which dates back uh, some possibly 80 90 years again we come into recycling recycling and recycling something but of course sweden takes a little bit more than seriously extension onto the old building and this here is the new children's play area which was constructed some years ago When I first came to this area, there was an old abandoned house, an old abandoned house on this land. And here are some of the children. And there we are. This is really moving forward. Of course, a lot of the children here will end up working in Uda Home Tooling and as plumbers and as electricians. And carpenters but Sweden Sweden needs all professions within its own society rather than having to bring those professions in from other countries it needs its homegrown labor force Anyway, I shall show you soon 
how they're getting on but at the moment this site is looking beautiful and extremely well organized well here we are it's the beginning of november and we're at Rhoda school just opposite the churchyard and i can see that things are moving on quite beautifully the roofs are on the solar panels are on let's go and have a look how things are progressing beautiful green windows and a lovely red roof absolutely fantastic in every way the builders here as usual are working hard getting this school ready for the pupils as they come in for 2023 fire escapes everything top-notch and how it should be the remaining old school building is just now having a new roof to match the new school building beautiful red tiles and I've got to say but it feels good here it feels very 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 classy it's an education or establishment that may educate our future Prime Minister or of course a film star or just somebody that gives their love and passion to the village and the Hogforsh commune. Piles of Swedish timber. After all, living in the forest, Swedish timber is absolutely essential. So this is the remainder of the old Swedish building, the last one to be at this school. The rest of them have been demolished and this is a new extension. This holds the, believe it or not, the disabled ramp to go up into the school. Well, anyway, let's go in and have a look what these young men and young women are doing here. One thing's for definite, they're all working hard to achieve the most beautiful, beautiful school. New plaster everywhere. It's amazing how much work just to do a renovation. It's quite incredible how much work you have to do. The different trades and the different people. But to keep the old traditional school here is very, very important. After all, so many people, so many children 
and eventually adults have walked these corridors and of course the new lift and down the next staircase And look at that fuse box. A fuse for everything in the building. Carpenters working away. Painters, decorators, flooring. And this school is going to be up and running in 2023. But of course, fully regulated and fully complete, ready to go. It feels very good in here as well. Not just is it a fantastic job, but it actually feels good to be in this building. Well, let me take you into the new larger building, which is the new construction next door. So here's the existing school, when I say the existing, the new part of the school that was built some years ago. And now we're going into the larger part, which is more of the educational classrooms. Got a little door over here. Now I'll take you in and show you around. Remembering it may be your child or children that come here to Rhoda School. And don't forget that you're looking at this video now. You may not even have children, but of course, in a few years time, the children come and they end up coming to Rhoda. And look at that. Absolutely beautiful. The ceiling's up and the place will soon have its walls and ready to go. Well, here we are now at the back of the school. And of course, the new climbing frames are all up. 